All right, y'all, and here we go. Another one, another one for the YouTube here. Tournament Guidebook, Vishnu Warrior. Um, y'all know how we do, guys. Y'all know how we do. Now, today is we're going over a little help here. A little help here, right? Where does that come from? What are we talking about? Put it in quotation marks. A little help here, right? And the little help here is talking about uh, the queen, in fact. Now, the whole thing, this whole game, everything we're talking about today is about the queen. The peace, the queen. Now, let me read it from the book, Tournament Guide book, right? Now, listen, listen very closely, chap. The queen by herself cannot checkmate an opponent. Now, of course, there's exceptions in chess. I tell this to my students all the time. Usually, you can't just checkmate with one piece. Back rank mates, smothered mates, those are different. Those are the exception to the rule. But generally speaking, it takes more than one piece. In fact, I tell students it takes three or more pieces for a successful attack. Usually you'll take one or two to sacrifice the others deliver mate. With that being said, and here from the book, the queen by herself cannot checkmate an opponent. Sure, you can cause damage and take material, but you can't mate them with just a queen. Okay, this is what today is about. Little help here. Little help here. Today's game, Yanni Pamniachi, the man's going to face... Uh, Magnus in November versus Wesley. So you already know what that man does, right? With that being said, this is a game played in the Crypto Cup that was uh, played this year, 2021. So here we go. Boom. E4, or C4, sorry. English. We got an English, which uh, not Jan likes. This is more of a space grabbing game. Like you just grab all kinds of space. C4, Knight F6, Knight C3. Let me actually move this back a little bit. Okay, cool. And then E5. So in this way, if you if you flip the board here, it's more of a reverse Sicilian. If you think about the Sicilian, right? E4, C5. So if you're an English player, you're actually playing a reverse Sicilian here. Oh my goodness, Tribeca Castle with 5,000 bits, bro. What? Chase. Okay. Okay. Yo. Tribeca, get some hype for that dub, that big boy uh, uh, bits there. Big boy bitties, 5,000 bits. Thanks so much. Tribeca Castle, sheesh, that's nuts. So this is like a reverse Sicilian, right? So I appreciate you again, Tribeca. Thank you so much. So this game about to get wild. I know Bishnu. I know it is. So after E5, Knight F3, right? This is classical stuff. You can even play G3 as well with the Botvinnik system, which is more Bishop G2, E4, and D3. You can literally play the same system against everything. That is called the Botvinnik system of the English. Thanks for the follow, the living legend. Appreciate you. Sheesh, that's right, Chess Boy RD. Come on now. So, knight f3, this is a little bit different. After knight c6, you have e3. e3 is pretty solid going for the d4 push. If you play e3, you probably shouldn't play g3. This is for English players, or if you're interested in playing the English. If you're going to play g3, you usually don't want to push e3. It's like kind of weird to do both. So, if you're going to go g3, you can go the e4 route, which is the Botvinnik system. Or um, you can do d4 here, which you, you kind of hold g3 for later. Bishop b4, and then knight to d5. Pretty strong stuff. It's almost like a reverse Grand Prix in a way. If you know the Grand Prix Sicilian, this is like the reverse of it in a way. E4 from white or from black here from Wesley. So and then knight to G1. This is a strange looking move, but knight G1 just makes total sense. We can move around an E2, but you do have to be careful. And actually, black's already slightly better. Why? I mean, think about this, bro. Like black is developed. He's castle flipped the board. Black is definitely better. I got pieces out like I'm castle before you are and you're playing white. So you have to be careful. So I don't recommend you play this. But of course, Jan Pamniachi is going to face Magnus this year. So he knows what to do. After castles, knight h3. Rook e8. And the reason for this knight h3 is immediately, right? I tell students, right? A knight on the rim is dim. You already know that. Or you should know that. When you put this knight over here, immediately or within a move or so, you should move it back to the center. He did exactly that. Because knight h3, rook e8. The knight looks stupid on h3. So he brings it to f4 to reinforce the other knight. Okay, b6, we take on b4, takes, and b3. I mean, just kind of all over the place. I'm on this side of the board. I'm on this side. I'm doing everything. Like, th this is ridiculous. Bishop to b2, or, or bishop b2 is coming next. So after b3, there's d5. And after d5, you can play bishop to b2, which is really nice. Hitting the knight, obviously, long-term pressure here on the diagonal. It's really good. D takes c4 from Wesley, and bishop takes. If you look at this, now we're looking at white being probably... Slightly better from a human standpoint. Let's flip the board. Flip the board. Yeah, I don't really like this. If I'm playing black, I'm not a fan of this right now. I feel like, you know, I'm getting ate up. <laughs> I'm getting ate up right now. But 
it, it's it's playable. Engine says it's like equal equal, which is fine, right? Whatever. But let's see what happens. Bishop a6. He takes it, and this is a good move. Flip the board. Bishop a6. Get rid of how strong this bishop is. Very very strong bishop. So he plays bishop to a6. Very nice. Eliminating the very strong bishop. Flip it back. Takes takes castles. Now he castles. Now he castles. Pretty nice. So what's up, Andrew? Um, he said, when you're trying to castle, yeah, chocolate, funny. So after castles, queen e7. Queen e7 getting out the way, and then we have f3 from Neon. Now, this is a long game. This game go 48 moves, so we're going to fly through a lot of this so that you can start getting through this too as well, and you can think about a little help here. This is the uh, this is what we're looking at today, and the theme of today, but we got to get there first. There's a lot of moves here. We don't want to take forever on these moves. So f3, rook a to d8. Everything centralized, pieces are out. This knight looks gross, so it needs to get to the center ASAP. Now, after uh, rook a to d8, we take on e4, open the file with a smile here. I like the file open. The bishop's here. The queen can probably swing eventually. Knight takes e4 and d3. Attacking the knight. But at this point, this pawn's weak and this pawn's weak. So after the knight moves, oh yeah, he played knight before here, right? Yeah, he played knight before. Uh, and pressuring the pawn because you're not going to take it right are you going to take this like come on you're not going to take this obvious queen's hanging and then after rook f3 there's f6 so he blocked yeah it's a big boy move it is and what they say is put pressure on the pin piece pp on the pp right like we said before in the youtube channel or um on the discord um, in, in the discord as well but in the playlist too on youtube put pressure on the pin piece so night before makes total sense putting pressure on the pin piece. Eventually, maybe g5 could work, but that's extremely risky. Knight h5, the bishop is crazy, like this is bad. So after d3, knight to b4. And then rook to f3 to kind of just hold all of this. Hold it all. Rook h3, right? What uh, Hikaru would say, hold the glue, right? You also have something like queen f1 eventually, but there's knight d2, so you gotta be careful of that. Rook f3, you also maybe queen e1, but then this is hanging. So you have to be careful. When they cross the line, they gotta go. Right, what's the line? Everything one to four is all white. These knights are about to go, you know, make you go night night in a minute. You know, you, you gotta be very careful. These knights are across the line and they just chilling and they about to bring the homies and it's gonna be a problem. So you gotta be careful and you have to kick them ASAP. After F6, what does Jan do? He's like, bro, you gotta go. We need two. So this knight is gonna go. And then we probably gonna click kick this one immediately after. Knight G5 hitting the rook. After move your rook. We move it. Rook g3, that's for me. Putting the pressure on the file with a smile. And then he plays 96. Okay, so now let's get a little bit of chat help here. 96 is getting a little, a little, little spicy here. A little spicy. A little spice to it. White to move. What do you do, chat? It's on you. 96 is on the board. White to move. What are we doing? Just push deep on right. Just got to. He could. 95 from NJ. Okay. Greg Lars, knight h5, hitting everything. PP on the PP. Put pressure on the pin piece from Greg. Knight h5. In fact, you guys are right. Knight h5, easy move. Easy move. Knight h5. I'm, I'm hitting g7. Not really, but I'm definitely hitting f6, though. Definitely hitting f6. Knight takes f4, threat. Correct. So we go there. Thanks for the follow, Robax. Appreciate you. Easy. Six. Okay. King h8. King h8 happens. Well, now we're going to go rook f1. With the threat of knight takes g7. Sheesh. Followed by bishop takes f6. So he plays rook f8. Like, none of that. I'm Wesley, so you, it's not going to be that easy. And then he plays d4, which is kind of strange, but it makes sense. It makes sense. And the reason for this is if I go e4, I give him the d4 square, which is extremely annoying. He also can, I think, still take this due to a crazy tactic. Like, I think if the rook takes, there's a... Uh, rook takes, takes... And check, and I think takes. Yeah, that's what it is, right? And you pick up this knight. So you grab a little pawn out of there. It's kind of strange. And e4 looks like the move. Want to keep the bishop open? But after d4, it's literally like contradicting the fact that why is my bishop here? But it does defend the pawn. And it's the best move, by the way. After c5, a3, kicking the knight. Knight goes back to d5. It's about to get wild. Goes e4. He hits the knight. Knight takes d4. Whoa, that's a pin. Pin for the win. And for the win, right? But there's a lot about to happen. Okay, watch this. Hold on to your seats here. And it's like 20 moves left. So this is perfect for the chat now. After takes, takes. Rook takes G7. Whoa, it's about to get crazy. Oh, it's about to get crazy. Oh, my goodness. 
first off <laughs> wow right on time right on time yo thanks for the raid bro jared show thanks for the raid welcome y'all right on time it's actually on uh on you guys after this next move black is gonna play here thanks for the uh for the raid black plays so first off what's going on what's going on <laughs> let me tell you this engine says equal zeros right now it is equal believe it or not but of course these kind of positions are never equal like this is not equal equal what what are you talking about okay let's just get up out of here you look at this yeah so after rook takes g7 right hitting this hitting the queen the queen is attacked black plays this there's one thing that we're going to teach you of course we haven't got there yet but it's called equal to stronger threats oh actually no that isn't that's like we got like 50 something videos so it actually is is in the playlist it is in the playlist so make sure y'all check that out it actually is equal to stronger threats it's the dragon ball z thumbnail so y'all know dragon ball z one yo have a great night yo thanks bro set of six funny d3 yeah that's right that's right a doc that's correct d3 is the move wow he plays d3 you take mine i take yours and i'm hitting your rook i'm hitting both of them so if you take you are here looking crazy because now both your rooks hanging both your rooks are hanging wow garbage straight garbage not a move so if we go back here if we go back here after d3 right after d3 white goes queen to f2 so i'm still hitting your queen yeah i'm still hitting your queen so what is he does he takes on e4 now okay chat it's on you what you gonna do what you gonna do come on chat give me something queen takes e4 it's looking wild right now it's looking wild we don't know what's gonna happen is black winning is white winning what the engine say equal the engine says it's equal bruh i mean literally how is this equal but it is white to move what do you do chat rook takes h7 wow you're just going all out i need money says rook takes h7 what you thinking what's on your mind here takes h7 Man, amazing. Rook D1. Okay. Rook D1. We have Rook D1. Rook takes H7. I see Knight takes Pawn. I see Knight takes Pawn. Anything else, chat? I just take A7. Okay. Okay. Taking A7. Rook E1 from A Dizzle. Red Hot Mama says Rook E1 as well. In fact, it is Ricky one. Great job to you, Ricky one. Ricky one is right. Good job. And then ninety three here, right? Now let me let me show you that again. He played ninety three. Hold on. Uh, let me let me do that again. He played ninety three. Bro, what? Can I just take this knight? Like the knight is hanging i can just take it so he does he takes it rook takes c3 all right y'all ready for this chat are y'all ready for this black to move in fact let's flip it it's black to move here what do you do it's black to move in this position wesley so what you gonna do d pawn too strong we got d2 around mama okay we got d2 okay we got two for d2s okay Queen takes rook. Yeah, for pawn promotes queen e three, d two. Okay, another one for d two. Nice, d twos. Okay, okay. You know what? Hey man, that's what's up. You know what? D two is nice, boy. Look at that. D two. Okay, clap it up for you. Clap it up. Clap it up. You're garbage. It's garbage. not a move. Garbage. garbage. It's straight garbage. garbage. Two times. Garbage. Three times. Garbage. garbage. It is not a move. D2 does not work. After queen takes D2, what do you do? Start a new one. Yep, straight garbo. Oh, man, you thought you was doing something with your life. But in fact, night, night. Sheesh, big fellow. Wow. Uh, I'm just taking it. And I'm looking at you sideways. Real hard stare. Real hard flex. Rook takes, takes. I mean, and your next move, you don't have one. Sheesh. Sheesh. That's what I said you can't do. <laughs> D2 is not a move. In fact, this is what Wesley So did. That man hit that man with a move. Spink. 
Give me those. I appreciate you. Whoa! Dang. Wesley didn't care about nothing. He didn't care about nothing. So he took. Of course, you got to take back. After queen takes c3, now there's d2. Oh, I'm about to queen. Now remember, this right here is the whole part of the study. The whole part of today's analysis is this part right here. The whole part. Everything we said. Little help here. Yeah. That's what, we, that's what the white's saying. That. The queen, I have a queen. And the queen's like, yo, hey. Yo, I need some help, bro. What y'all, where y'all at? Where y'all at? I need some help. Because I'm about to get queened on. And like, what do I do? What do I do? And in fact, that's on you, chat. White's move. If you're watching from YouTube, pause the video. What you gonna do here? White's move. Of course, that's not the move. Queen G3, what you gonna do though? That was a double X glam. Big facts, Quantum. And big facts. Queen takes rook. Exactly. That was a real hard flex from a real big fella. White to move, chat. White to move. Take your time if you need to. This is not an easy one. We got King F2 from A Doc. Okay, let's get some moves out there. Rook H7 from UZ is Spencer. Xenix with the silence. It just says silence. The silent move. We'll be looking at chat. Rook takes h7, queen e7. Rook h7. Rook takes h7, queen e7. Queen e4. Queen e7, rook h7 feels good. Knight takes f6. Rook takes, king takes, queen e7. Okay? All right. Great job, chat. You actually got it right. Rook takes h7 is correct. Now, remember, we said, hey, little help here. In fact, let's go back to the book. What Vishnu says in the book here is the queen by herself. Cannot checkmate an opponent. Sure, you can cause damage and take material, but you can't mate them with just a queen. So you need help. You need help. So we, what do we do? We take on h7. Speak. King takes, and now what do you do, chat? What do you do now? What do you do now? What do you do? We got queen e7 from a dis. I see a queen e7. I see a queen e4, chat. Queen e7, queen e4. Yeah, I told you Rick takes h7. Good job. Good job, man. Gary and Harry might want to help her after queen e7. Okay. Knight takes pawn. Check when the rook hidden pawn. Sack the knight from Shotgun Cheetos. Knight takes f6 after rook takes queen e7. Knight f6. We need money. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Very nice. Very nice, guys. I like the choices. I love the choices here. In fact, here's a move. Queen e7 actually is a move. Knight f6 is the move that Jan chose. Knight f6 is engine, num engine move number one, and queen e7 is engine move number two. So you guys were both correct. Knight takes f6, though, is the first move. Right. And he doesn't take. Wesley's so smarter than that. Much smarter than that. So he plays king g6, and he's looking at you real crazy right now. Like, hey, bro, you'll move. You'll move. I don't got to take that knight. And I'm still about to queen on you. It's your move, big fella. What you gonna do about this? White to move. White to move, chat. What do you do? He did not take your knight. The plan didn't go as planned. What's the eval right here? I ain't even gonna tell you, Quinn. I ain't even gonna tell you. This is on you. This is on you, Quinn. This is on you right now. This is on you. It's all on you, big dog. Queen e7. We got some queen e7. He oh, said, yeah. We got the queen e7. <laughs> queen e7. Wait, let me pray for the answer. We got, oh, resign from Robax. <laughs> he said, I'm out of here. Yo, I'm out. Hey, this ain't a, you know, we'll start a new one. Try again tomorrow, bro. <laughs> he said, resign. This is a draw. Seriously, said Shaka I ain't saying nothing. Perpetual checks. H4, H4, knight d5. King is too open. What do you got, chat? What do you got? You either got it or you don't. You either got it or you don't. This is critical. Very critical. Earn Schrodinger, what's up? It's good. H4 looks good. Okay. NRG, Havoc, thanks for the follow. Queen E6. Mate in two if Queen comes into the game. Okay. Anything in any last any last chances here? Any last answers? Knight D7. 
H4. This is hard. It definitely is. I simply don't get in that position. Yeah. <laughs> right. 94. Okay. KI9. Get that man off the board. This man said K A9. Do you all see that in the chat? K A K I9. He said K I9. Wow. He said K I9. King F1. Okay. He playing 4D chess. Oh yeah, he playing out. I mean, bro. What? A through Z on his chessboard. Imagine seeing that on your chessboard. A through Z. I'm good. I'm not. I don't want him to play. We got enough already. <laughs> Your neighbor's boring. He's on a different level. Is this a draw? All right, here it is, guys. Here it is. So this is what Jan chose. He did queen g3 check. Right? Queen g3 check. He could take the knight. But in fact, Jan has nothing. Jan literally has nothing at all. He has nothing, bro. So you could actually take this, but Wesley doesn't want to take it because if he takes it, then there's going to be perpetual for sure. So what he does is he sidesteps it. King F7 and says, okay, cool. You can't mate me. Remember the queen can't do it by herself, right? And in fact, we use the rook already and then we use the knight, but maybe now the queen can do it by herself at this point due to what the army did beforehand, the rook and the knight clearing the way to help us out. Why to move? How do you do this, chat? Is there a way out or in? Like to move. Queen C7 from Super Saiyan GM. In fact, that is right. And we're going to go with your answer first because that's the only real check you have, guys. Like, it's literally it. Queen C7. He goes King G6. He goes back. King F7. We check him again. King E6. And then where do you go? King E6. And next move, chat. Next move. Next move, we have Queen B3 check. Wow, Queen B3 check. Oh my goodness. And a master cleanser. You okay, man? You okay? Hey, man, we're going to get some people over to you, man. Make sure you're all right. Check in on you. Queen C4 check. Queen C4. Queen C4. Queen C6. Okay, so let me, let's, let's, um, Let's do a poll here. All in favor of Queen C6, right? Just say I in the chat. All in favor of Queen C6, say I in the chat. And it, all in favor of Queen C4, or you could just say Queen C6 check. It doesn't matter. Like, whatever you want. You can say Queen C6, I, whatever. Or say Queen C4 if you like Queen C4. What do you like? What do you like? Queen C6, Queen C4s, Queen C4s. Okay, Queen C6, he says whatever. Queen C6. Right. If he if we go rook rook hat. Oh if but if he blocks Queen C6 with your rook, what happens? Well, let's actually take a look. This is very important. If Queen C6 right here, you're garbage. Garbage. Wow. Garbage. Sheesh. Garbage. Start a new one. Garbage. This is a wrap. And this is not work, and I'll show you why. Rook to D6. Ouch. Rook D6, we in the mix. Get the man off the board. Start a new game. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. If you go queen e4 check, okay, cool. I'm just chilling, right? Oh, I, I'm just going to check him. King f7. And I'm around you. Okay, queen b7. Wow. Wow. Great job, bro. You got to check. Okay, you got this. Oh, you got this. Oh, you got this. Garbage. Garbage. Wow. After King G6, Queen E4 check, hit that man with a move. And then we take those. Thank you very much. There's a queen coming. Right? There's a queen coming where you check me. And for your next check, what you got? I don't care where you check me. Everything loses. King E7 check here. Right? King D7, Queen G7. I'm all around you. I'm all around you. I can go really anywhere. Let's go this way. Where's your checks? Oh, Queen C3. Okay. Got you a little check. Oh, you think I'm going to go King B5? And get made it out here. Oh, this is a family channel. National television. Right? I just go King B7. Queen G7 check. And I think I can run this way. Boom. And I'm out there. No more checks. No more checks. You lost. Wow. You had a draw. And you lost. Underground Queen. What's up, girl? Welcome to the stream. Ponga. Thanks for the follow. So, Queen C6 is garbage. Queen C4, though, 
does not work at all. Or at queen c4, there's no draw. I mean, there's no uh, rook d6, no blocking. So he has to move the king. We go queen e4, and now we force a capture. King takes f6. He finally takes it. And this is it. Check up, king e7. Check up, king f6. Check up, king e6. Queen e3, check. King f5. Now let's see what happens. It, 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 he can't cross, right? If he ever blocks, then we take this pawn. And still, we can even like check and maybe even play for more with these two passers. So he had to stay on this half of the board with the E, F, and G files. He couldn't go anywhere else because pawn takes, queen takes. So check again, check on G4, check on F4, right? Staying around the pawn. You want to check here because what happens is, let's say you go queen E4. Queen E4 check is a wrap. You actually lose. Now I'm going to run out. Hello, I came with Devin Booker's raid. I didn't even see the raid, bro. That's crazy. That's kind of nuts. Like, it didn't even come through. Like, I don't even see it in the chat. Thanks for the raid, bro. I appreciate you. I didn't even see it. Right? Did y'all see the raid? I didn't even see it. Check. All right, so Queen E4 check, and you're in trouble. That's a wrap. Yeah, I didn't see it in chat either. So after Queen E3 check, King F7, Queen F4, King E7, it's a draw. That's it. They repeated moves, and this was a high-level draw here. Pretty cool to see it happen like this. This was nuts. You didn't know what was going to happen. But here, going back here, uh, the more of the story is a little help here. A little help here, meaning the queen can't do it by herself. Pieces, period, usually can't do it by themselves. This is something to always pay attention to. Rick F1, this was the crucial moment right here. The crucial moment was right here, right? And, and I mean, this was nuts, right? Ricky one, you thinking he going to move his queen. How do you feel, right? <laughs> Think about that for a minute, right? You playing white. You play rookie one in this position, and Wesley so calmly just put the knight here in front of you. Like, go ahead, take the knight. You wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I promise you probably was not expecting 93. <laughs> and when it happens, you're like, oh, snap. Then you have to realize, shoot, I am playing Wesley. Dang, did I mess up? Am I lost here? Then after takes, right, he takes on E3, does a queen sack, and you are here looking crazy. At this point, it's a desperado. At this point, it was desperado for Jan. But luckily, right, the queen can't do it by herself for mate. Queen h6 doesn't work. There's always going to end in the check. Queen, it doesn't work. So you have to sack here. The rook helped us. Help the queen get closer. Boom. Then the knight helps. It helps us get closer. And if rook takes half, if rook takes, you actually lose. Check. No matter where you put the king, probably here we take and then GG. Sheesh. So that didn't work. And then after this, it was just check up, check a rooney, check city, check real hard, flex real hard, check into oblivion. Check, 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 check again, and then mate, right, or uh, draw, sorry, that was, that was it. Can you show queen e7 after the rook sack? Oh, queen e7, you talking about back here, after, um, right here. So you have to be accurate here too as well. After king takes, queen e7 is a move, and then after king h6 or g6, right, you have to check on e3 or e4. You still have to check around, you have to still check. There is no mates. If you try queen g7, you're almost losing. I mean, in fact, like, you, like, yo, yo, what you doing? Oh, G4. Oh, you thought you was cool. Okay. Oh, you thought you was good. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Y'all see him in the chat? Flying horse cow. G4. Garbage. Garbage. Wow. Garbage. Sheesh. Garbage. Get the man out of here. And what you gonna do next? What you got next after G4? Looks cool. Oh, it looks great. Oh, man. Beautiful absolutely great right oh queen h6 okay i'll see you takes your next move and for your next trick please what do you have for me what do you have for me i'm so anxious what do you have what do you have for me oh you oh you gotta check okay i see you bro i see you i see you i'm gonna just walk towards you king f3 check again i'm gonna walk towards you right it don't even matter i can just walk around these because queening it's going to be a wrap. Sheesh. Yikes. Resigns. Yeah. Tough game. It was a tough game. So you have to be careful. And it was luckily that he did do this knight takes f6. Because this makes it easier. Queen e7 is the king. Oh, definitely don't do that. That's face blockage. Queen e7. This pawn's still here. And it's kind of harder. You have to be very precise with the checks. You see how easy it was to go wrong. And then you get hit with the garbage. You know what I'm saying? So when you come back, you have to actually like figure this out. So knight takes f6 is really much better because now everything's clean there's all there's checks everywhere and it's less room for error 
Not that you can't make an error still, but there's less room of it because there's no pawn around it anymore. Clearing the way. This was the more practical way of doing things to get a draw. And check into oblivion, right? Yeah, so queen can't do it by itself. Hopefully you learned something today, guys. Make sure pieces do not um, work by themselves. It is a team game, nine times out of ten. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can use that and learn from that. So hopefully you learned. And uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if y'all haven't already. Just to YouTube. And uh, yeah, we got some more content coming. I'll drop probably the last video will be tomorrow until I until I go to Charlotte for the tournament. So appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next video.